Hello Angels and Angels in Training, welcome to the Pop Angel Show. I'm your presenter, Duke Angel, and today we have a proper celebrity as we continue to talk about permanent solutions and today also the power of music and especially good music. Please welcome to the show, superstar, TV personnel, TV royalty, reality star, pop star, Crystal K. Wow, thank you so much. That is such an incredible introduction. celebrity as we continue to talk about permanent solutions solutions on how we can help it's about education and these are the things that we need to learn and talk out of your own you know your heart we need to make it heaven on earth because we've settled for less for too long stay real a real happiness because okay. a lot of people get their happiness from the wrong place bitcoin selling a product that doesn't exist mm. western society is under assault so our permanent solutions work amen yeah. amen 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 Um, it is so wonderful to be here and I can just say that um, it's really it's really a treat to be here today. Thank you. Well, thank you for honoring us with your presence and and also I forgot to mention that Crystal K is the original full-time cast member from the Royal Housewives of Johannesburg. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out now. And if you haven't checked out her music, you need to check that out now because there's, there's some amazing bops in there. Check out Wonder, check out Underwater and buy them. I'd like to start the show today by asking, how are things going in your neck of the woods, first of all? So you live in South Africa, Johannesburg, beautiful place. How's everything going considering the times of the world right now? Yeah, well, you know, Joburg, um, we always have our fair share of um, of sunshine, even in winter. We have we have beautiful weather all the way around. It is a little bit cold now, so we have our heaters on and we've got our fur coats on. Um, but unfortunately, what's been happening with us is we're having rolling blackouts regularly. <laughs> so we really have to improvise. We have to be very positive um, because it's got to um, stage. It's going to be like stage six soon, which means that we're using six hours of power almost every day for quite a long period of time. So, yeah, that is that is affecting every life in, in Johannesburg and in South Africa. Um, you know, it is it is something that we, we have to really work towards keeping the morale up and keeping um, keeping ourselves warm in this winter period. <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. Do you have a generator or one of those, um, you know, those wind up uh, electric plugs, a solar generator? Yeah, so I have one in my other house, which I'm not staying at at the moment. But yeah, you know, it's it's like a lot of us have generators. Some of us can't afford it. Of course, there's people on the streets at the moment too. They're also suffering. So it really is something to, to um, you know, to 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 work towards keeping keeping South Africa warm and 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 alive and and in in the light. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> well, we will add that to our to our prayer at the end. Um, yeah, we will pray for that situation because I was totally unaware of that. So, so things could be things could be better. I think you know the thing is is that even though we do have this going on, um, it's just so important to always remember that what we do have and to be grateful for what we have and to move forward with um, still you know our goals, our dreams, and not let it not let it get you down and um i think it is a good test of of how strong we are and how positive we are oh amen that is such a, an amazing silver lining and that's that's exactly what i to have is nothing can get in the way of good energy so that's perfect that's also awesome here that's it. so there's yeah. one permanent solution already we haven't even asked the questions so, um, okay, this brings me to my first question, which is actually my favorite question, and it is, what piece of advice do you wish that everybody would listen to? Wow, there's so many pieces of advice. You can there. stay more than um, one. Sure, I think, I think the, best, the best advice that I can, I can honestly say, um, I've tried to follow in my life, and I think that has seen me through is you know if you have if you have a dream if you have a goal if you have something you want to do 
never, never, never give up. Persevere no matter what because you're going to have obstacles, you're going to have hurdles, you're going to have weaknesses, you're going to have challenges. And if we give up, it's over. But if we're still on the journey, we are still winning. It doesn't matter if, we, if we're not getting there 100%, but if we still even have the mindset to get there, we're still on our way. So never, never, never give up. As long as you're alive, keep going. That is, that is so awesome. That is really perfect. Wow. Thank you. That's something that God's actually been teaching me recently. So for you to say that is, um, is incredible. Wow. That's really cool. Well, that's just synchronicity of the universe that God creates it. And, you know, we just, we really do get confirmation from God every day when we look for it and we look out for him. And I just know that he is the one that will always guide you on your path and ensure that you get there. And again, you know, having said that you should never give up, if something is really strongly on your heart, then you know that God put it there and you can't give up. You just can't. No, that's a very good piece of advice. Cool. Thank you so Um, much. Thanks, yeah. Well, thank you. All right, speaking of life tools, the power of music and how important what we download into our subconscious, how important music really is. So what music are we downloading into our spirit? So your music is actually beyond amazing. It's positive, it's powerful, it's mature, it's wise, it's catchy, it's pop. It's everything that music should really be to get you out of bed, especially on those days you don't want to get out of bed. You think, no, the show must go on, hair flicks, superhero, let's superheroes rise. So your music is exceptional, exceptionally good. And um, you released Wonder. And I'm still obsessed beyond words with Underwater. I know you're not supposed to have favorites. I love them all. But I think Underwater, because it's more of the newer one, it's the one I've heard less of. And it's just, it's like I said before, it's so magical and it's so positive. And it's just such a bop. It's just, do you have anything else, anything else cooking up soon, coming up soon? Oh, yeah. No, I do. I've actually got a bag of, I don't want to call them tricks because they're songs, but I like to think, that my songs are a little bit like tricks, you know, like magic tricks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, they, they need to get in your head so you don't get, out, get them out of your head. And they, they need to, like, um, teach you a lesson, right? So yeah. um, I'll show you a few things, which is like, you know, a trick, isn't it? Um, so, yes, I do. I've got a bag of tricks that are coming soon in the form of an album. And firstly, I'm going to also be releasing a couple of singles before that. That is the plan. Um, I have been quiet for a little while. It's been um, a long period of, you know, COVID and other issues um, that have been going on in my life. But um, yeah, I'm getting out very soon and I'm going to be releasing very shortly. So please watch the space. I'm so excited. So this brings me to when did you know you were a pop star? When did you know you were a proper celebrity? Because usually it's a soul thing. So I'm guessing with you, it's it started it started quite young. Tell us about like the beginning of your journey. Well, yes, it went back right to when I was seven years old. I used to listen to Dolly Parton. She was my mom, actually. She 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 brought me up on on music and country music and love. And she taught me about honestly. She taught me about love. She is a God fearing woman. She is so cool. She is so sexy. She is gorgeous, and she is just um, my idol growing up and even today she is just such an icon um so yeah I used to be inspired by her and also the likes of Olivia Newton-John very much um with her dolphins she used to love the dolphins and she even has a song called the dolphin song and I remember as a child that really stuck with me I used to know all the words I used to know everything um with regards to those two and I used to take my skipping rope and I used to go to the, um, I have like a garage where the cars used to be parked, but when they were empty, I would go there very quietly, secretly, and I would go and practice all my songs for all my fans. And I could already see them, you know, as I looked out practicing at seven years old, it was just what I was about and where I was going. And I, I still am like that, you know, even to this day, I still have that dream. I have that dream of, of thousands and thousands and thousands thousands and hundreds of thousands of fans 
and um, it's never left me. And that's what I say, you know, I, I've never given up on it. And a lot of people have, you know, sometimes said like, like, come on, you know, you want to be a pop star? Like, really? Like, come on, you know, like, maybe you should get a normal job. <laughs> and I've had a few normal jobs. I'm not saying normal jobs aren't good, but never like give up on your dream because you never know how things work out. And I think if you ask some of the really top pop stars in the world, the A-listers out there, they'll say too that they, there were stages where they didn't actually think they were ever going to get there, but they just carried on. There was something that kept them going. They believed in themselves and what they can do. And they knew they had a purpose and they knew they had to help people. I think that's very important. So yeah, I, I, I've always had that dream. I've always had that love for music. I've always thought I could sing. I've, I mean, I really worked at it. I've trained for eight years as well because, you know, you're not, you're not always born with your talent that you want to have. You got to work at it as well. So, yeah, um, it's been a long story, but it's been amazing. And when I'm singing, I feel free. I feel like, you know, this is heaven. Amen to that. And especially because your music, if you... If you're trying to help people with, with your passion and your career, that makes it even more, I, I believe it makes it even more kind of worthwhile and important because, you know, just singing about anything versus singing about songs that are like educational and positive and bringing people to the kingdom then, and saving the world and making a heaven on earth. So that's, yeah, that's, that's so awesome. That's so cool. Love it. Love yeah, it. I think it's, you know, it's, it's good to, to illuminate um, through your songs, through your art, and to, to make people think, you know, there was a, there's a line in a song um, that I've been listening to recently, and it's actually just very, um, you know, it's something about not, it's not, not a designer, like not, I can't remember the actual line, maybe it's a good thing, but it's something about like, you know, not Versace, choose Jesus or something. And it's just like in this rap, rap song and it's, it, it's, you wouldn't expect it, but it's just there. And it kind of like just makes a statement. And I love that kind of thing. something else in mind. Behind you, Hercules! <laughs> trying to give us special treatment. Nothing new. Confession? Why not? Confession is good for the soul. Amen. It seems you were right about Wells and Durko trying to force Susie to take part in their scheme. Right. When she refused and threatened to expose them, they had Ted Kale fix her car, and then they had Bloody Mary run her into the wall.
you know, it makes people maybe who don't even know Jesus, maybe they don't know what's going on. You know, they kind of just think, okay, let me just wonder about that for a minute. Yeah. Exactly. All this, wondering. <laughs> amen. I'm wondering too. All this beauty is not coincidence. That's just, that would just be absurd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so my next question is, is another amazing question. I, I love all these questions. And um, the, so your relationship with the, with the creator, God, Jesus, and the fantastic Our Guardian Angels above, what's your kind of testimony? Because, I, I mean, I love hearing people's testimonies. So, I mean, when did you first connect with, with the creator and with the angels and with the greater good energy, you know, that next level of wisdom and um, quality? Yeah, you know, I think I, I always believed growing up, um, you know, I did come from a, a Christian family. My mom was always Christian. So I did go to church. I used to sing in church and everything. So I always believed. But I think I really had my own spiritual um, awakening, you know, when I was really sort of born again into the spirit of God when I was older. And, and when I, I searched for that and I looked because I really didn't understand all these different religions, different things out there, you know, like, what is the truth? You know, you have to go on your own, your own understanding and your own journey. And you have to find out what's the, the truth for you. Um, and I think, I think, you know, I came to the discovery of God um, in my own capacity. It wasn't just because I was told this is the way or that's the way. I felt God. I felt God on me. I felt His love. I felt His, His touch, His physical touch, even with the Holy Spirit on my, in my body. I know I've had that amazing awakening. It is so beautiful. And also, you know, um, the thing is, is that I was taken through some very serious darkness. And I know that it's the only way that I came out was because of the Lord and because of his light and because of my belief in him. That's the only thing. His only, his spirit got me through that darkness. And I can one day lab, elaborate on that darkness. And I think a lot of people have been there i think i was there to a very 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 great extent and i just know that when you know the darkness and you know the light you know you 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 really understand what it's all about and you know god and you can never waver from that you can you can never waver from that and when you know the darkness and you know the light you only want to show the light to the world amen Amen. That's so true. You can't you can't unlearn it. You know what I mean? And and yeah. And and you look at you look at the people around who you're still praying for to to be in the kingdom of God and to be connected with that next level of wisdom and quality. And um, yeah, yeah, definitely, a hundred percent. Yeah. So you know, it's it's like the darkness I went through was 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 something quite different, I think, but. The darkness is different for different people. We all go through our darkness. Sometimes, you know, our chains is different to other people's chains. But, you know, there is one truth, there's one love, and there is one freedom. And that's it. And when you get to that, nothing can stop you. And nothing can set you back because you're on your way. You know where you're going. You're going to heaven. Definitely, I truly believe that a, a lot of a lot of people with faith have gone through the hardest walks, and it's made the best characters and, and the best yeah the best characters. So, hats off to you because because I I think you're the queen of South Africa. There is no the, and, oh, and I love you. you. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious that everybody oh, if anybody's watching from Listen, South Africa. Can I have that in writing? And you can say I'm the pop queen, okay? The pop queen of South Africa. You can say it, right? <laughs> the pop queen and the TV queen. There is no show without Crystal. So anybody new oh, to in from South Africa, you need okay. to pay attention. You need to tell your friends because this lady here is a genius and she's got such a pure heart and she's got so much quality. So oh, you'd, be, you'd be silly not to support your queen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well, your testimony is awesome. Yeah, I mean... I probably should share my testimony as well because I think they're so so important. I haven't done that so far, so I'll just quickly share with you my testimony, which was yeah, so, that would be amazing. So I can't go into too much, but what you said about going through hardships, definitely. And then when I turned eighteen, I kind of I just prayed out to God, and because I, I went to so, like what you said as well, I went to so many different 
religions. I went to, I tried everything. I tried Hare Krishna, uh, Mormonism, um, Johannes Witness, uh, Catholic, Anglican, Christian. I went to so many different, different churches and took everything with a grain of salt. And it was when I went to the specific Christian church, which just kind of came off the smartest and the purest of heart. And it kind of resonated. And I thought, okay, God, well, you know, I've got serious trust issues. So you're going to have to prove it to me. And so my first prayer was, um, cause sometimes I feel like I would make the wrong decisions and I didn't feel like I had a choice. Like I, I'd be like going to grab like the unhealthy food instead of the healthy food. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Stop, stop. And then, so I ended up praying and I, my first prayer to God was, um, my first proper adult prayer to God was, um, please remove all the bad in me and only keep the good. And I couldn't believe it. The next morning, that was my first piece of evidence. And that's kind of, this is my testimony. The next morning I woke up, my mindset had completely changed. All these things that I used to kind of think about, they weren't a thought anymore. And even my sense of humor completely matured and just it was completely different. So it's like God literally saved my soul. And ever since then, every single one of my prayers, not necessarily straight away, but they, they've all come true. So it's just, you just, we just have to, you know, it's a, yeah, we keep making him proud and then he trying to save the world, make a heaven on earth. And then he looks after his angels. Well, that's amazing. That is so, so awesome. And I'm so happy for you that, you know, you found the light, you found, you found God, you found, you know, the source of, of, of happiness it's it's really um a great privilege it's really and we're very lucky because you know at the end of the day god chooses you that's so cool that is so cool i, I just wish everybody would would acknowledge of god because there's there's lots of amazing spirituality things going but you also have to believe in something higher than yourself whether you want to uh, because i believe that mother nature god jesus the creator you know, they're all the, they're all the same good energy. I, I, you know, Jesus, God, Mother Nature. So I really think that I wish that everybody would acknowledge God because, you know what I mean? He gave us life so that we could be yeah. happy. And originally all we were actually supposed to do was, was look, at, I believe, was look after each other, look after nature and look after animals and live happily ever after. It was, it was free will and, you know, obviously that got in the way of that and God allows us to have free will. You know, you already know all this, but I'm just telling everybody it does. God allows us to have free will to create authenticity and see who his, yeah. real, see who his real friends are first. So, yeah. So, okay. Well, thank you for all these positive solutions. I've, we've got some amazing, helpful stuff. Now it's time to switch it up a little bit and play a game. It's called What's Your Favourite Flavour? So... I will start the timer and ask you a series of questions and you have to answer what your favorite flavor is. Whichever celeb, proper celebrity at the end of the season gets the fastest time is the winner. What is your favorite genre of television? Um, cowboy movies. <laughs> Love it, that's so original. What is your favorite movie? Um, I would say it's the Titanic. What is your favorite fruit? Fruit is um, pear. What is your favorite quote? Um, never, never, never give up. Winston Churchill. Um, what is Crystal K's favorite flavor of crisps? Do you call them crisps or chips, potato chips, in the packet? Yeah, um, salt and vinegar. Yeah! What is your favorite genre of music? Pop. Your favorite animal. This is a tough one. Polar bear. Favorite joke? Um, wits. Okay, so like wits and not, not telling jokes. I like like quick wits. So oh, yes. Basically, I'm... Yeah, uh, that's the well, kind yeah. of joke I like. I don't tell I don't tell jokes because I make jokes the whole time. Like I just crack jokes. Got I crack you. wits. I'm a witty person. Got so you. I don't need jokes. Your favorite X-Men character or overall superhero? Um Superman. Oh cool. Awesome. Favorite charmed character, original. Favorite, sorry? Charmed character. Charmed. Wow. 
Um, I don't know the charm girls, not all of them. They're very cute though. You could just share my one, which is um, Prue and Leo, Shannon Dodie and Brian Cross. <laughs> awesome. Okay. okay. <laughs> So that brings your time to two minutes and 22 seconds. Now I would like to, I would like to pray because I always end the interviews with a prayer. Is that cool? Do you want to lead it or? Yeah. No, you Leah, please. That would be amazing. Okay. I feel, I feel very, very um, safe in your, um, in your prayers. Awesome. Vice versa. Awesome. Okay. Well, first of all, the creator, Jesus and our guardian angels. Thank you so much for Crystal. Thank you so much for making her such an amazing character, such a strong character. And thank you for, for sharing her time with me today and for the rest of the world that needs to hear. I pray that you that you really bless the whole world, but right now, especially South Africa, for all those people without power, I pray that you that they find their candles and that that you are closer with them than ever and give them peace and, and direction and strength. Um, because good always wins in the end and, and remind them of that and and also I just pray for ultimate peace and health and safety and joy over Crystal K. I pray that no harm should ever, ever prosper anywhere near her way. In the name of Jesus, let's make a heaven on earth. Angels take over. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. That was so beautiful and I really felt that. Um, and I, I really, I really receive your prayer and you know that protection that you prayed. Thank you. Amen. Well, everybody, make sure you buy Crystal K's music and stream it because you will not regret it. And tune into the, to tune into the Real Housewives of Johannesburg if you'd like to see more of why I love Crystal so much. And yes, South Africa, another reminder, there is no show without your queen. I'm <laughs> sorry.